all get in here and watch the commercial. Come on. Get out of the kitchen. Sit down. Watch the commercial now. Okay. Now, my name is Bubba Dopolis, and uh, I used to own Bubba's Ties till last month. It went belly up. I get it. I get it. You know, Walmart's got the big aisles, fancy alls, whatever. Can't compete. That's fine. I don't care. I ain't got time for this. I'm a busy man. So here's what I got to say. I'm going to start digging them up. I mean it. I got a shovel right here and a graveyard back here for people you guys care about. I'm going to start digging them up. Don't like it? Here's what you can do. Put some money in an envelope and leave it at my house. You know which house is mine. This is one that's got the burning tires in the front yard that you guys like to bitch about down in City Hall. I've had it. I ain't got time for this. I'm a busy man. And I'm going to start digging them up. So like I said, money, envelope, my house. I'm going to start digging them up. All right, so everybody just got checked in uh, for the most part. And now I'm going to go back here and see what people may have or may not have found. Uh, what's your name? Mike. 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 So Mike just showed me a couple of pins, buttons that he found. Yeah, we squirted this one with a little bit of water. You can kind of see the, the New York Excelsior shield coming out. I like the fact that this one still has a ring on it. Look at that. Yeah. That nice? That is awesome, man. What that ring up as? Mid 70s, both of them. On what what machine? AT Pro. Pro. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's gold right there. And what else did you get, Mike? That, that was it. I got a musket ball, I think. Let's see it. You're on YouTube right now. Say hello. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Father and son team from the guy from. It looks like it was shot. Oh yeah, that could be. Maybe, it could be. Maybe that could be. Yeah. Smashed down to a game. It's piece. definitely got some weight to oh, it. Oh yeah, it's heavy. It's lead. Yeah, that could be. So we're gonna. Awesome. We're gonna clean her up a little bit. Yeah. Well, people seem to be finding some good stuff already. Took them to the location. And uh, now they should all get some really good stuff. I'm going to head back up, go up to the headquarters of the place, uh, waiting for Roy to get here with the food and the grill. And I'm going to go up to the store, get all the meats, get all the drinks for everybody. And this is going to be a great meal. I think it is, right? Check <laughs> it on the wall. Oh, somebody told me they found a candle. They they found a candle thing that that goes on the wall. Oh, a butt plate off the end of the stuff. Okay, yeah. Somebody did tell me about this. I, I didn't know which one was which. Somebody said that they found a candle holder that has a thing on the back that you put into a, a tree, and I thought that's what this was. <laughs> looking at it, but now, yeah, that's damn. That'd be a butt plate. I got three or four more at the house. Yeah. That is that awesome. Is. I know. But I got to walk down there and see what's going on with everybody. Somebody left a bunch of holes open. Yeah, he took good everywhere. Yeah, I took I took some pictures and I tried hey, to figure out there, who it right? was. <laughs> I can't point any fingers any which direction. I mean, it looked like ground holes. Right. Yeah. I think it's a couple. Yeah, one or two people. I, I just covered one up. Yeah, I was covering them up earlier too. Yeah, I just covered up a real big one. That's just stupidity right there. Hey, Bubba over here from you know Bubba's Ties, and uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, digging holes. That's right, digging holes. So first, what you gotta do is you need to dig your hole. Second, you need to clean your hole. 
Hey, that doesn't sound very, you know, G-rated over here. Uh, all right. And then finally, when you're all done, you need to fill your hole. Okay, come on now. Somebody joking with me over here. I can't, I, I can't be saying this kind of stuff on film. Yeah, well, you know, a whole bunch of mothers got mad at, uh, at me last week for drinking and driving. And now, I don't know who's going to come after me for saying this video. That's right, Bubba's Ties. Oh, what the hell. You guys found a trash pit. I saw you down here digging a big hole. Like, okay, they found something. Oh, yeah. I did not break it. <laughs> Ray McCormick can tell you exactly what year that came from. Really? Oh, yeah. That's what he does. They got all kinds of bullets and buttons. Nice. Was this a, um, was it a depression before you guys started? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah? Always, Just like those up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There, there, there. They're all over the place. Look like an archaeologist down there. Scraping off layer by layer. That's cool. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it's a bullet? Oh, nice. It's a dropped one, too. Yeah. Three ringer. Nice. Did y'all get enough to eat? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. I didn't break out the chicken. I didn't get to it. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, okay. Got a, uh, a bunch of nails here. Square nails on the left. Down there by a punch bowl. Have you gone over here to the right? I went down right here in this valley earlier and that's where I got the bridal chain. Mm -hmm. I just pulled these out or maybe you showed it, it to me at lunch. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Then later I found. You found the fork, right? Yeah, I found the fork. Yeah, later. the fork. That's pretty cool. They got me. I was digging <laughs> down at the bottom and I kept looking up there and I said, man, what are they doing? <laughs> they're, they're, they're digging a hole. Well, not these. Not those. Not these either. That. What you got there? Uh, is that mine? I say Colt 40, or Yeah, Colt 44. That was two feet underground. So. Two feet underground. Oh, no, that's very old then. Yeah, check this out. It's an unidentified, but it's a nice button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be, I don't want to rub it too much. Yeah. <laughs> you should soak that in something. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Plus, they're finding a whole bunch of buttons right next to you in that hole, aren't yeah, they? Bullets. Yeah. yeah. That bullet. That's yeah. a uh, 44 Jadoon. Cool. Yeah. Hut digging, man. Awesome. That's my new thing. Yeah. Yeah. I can see. <laughs> it's working for you. It's a what? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Iron? What did it ring up as? <laughs> you know, I never get tired of hearing that same question over and over. Brandon, how is it that you're able to do what you do? Well, it's really very simple. I'm psychotic. Well, people are always asking me strange questions. I get them all the time. Like, Brandon, what lights the fire under your ass to get you out of bed in the morning? Hemorrhoids. And then there's other questions like the one a guy asked me the other day. Hey Brandon, you're an animal lover. Do you like dogs? I don't know. I've never eaten one before. And then I would have to say the question I get asked the most, which is the most idiotic, is Hey Brandon, 
How come you don't have a reflection in the mirror? Well, it's very simple. <laughs> Alright y'all, this is day number two at the event, Saturday. Over here on the side of the hill. I can't remember his name, but when we get over here... Oh, Gerald. Yeah, I couldn't see who it was. See, you got another one right there. They're just all over the place. Everywhere you see a little impression, depression is where a hut was, or a privy, or a fire pit, whatever. Oh, he's already on oh the you already got it. He's already on the board this morning. Got it. You got a copper one. You got a you got a fallen bullet. These are these look shallow too. He's not digging very deep. No, that's nice. Oh Lord, he's been busy this morning. What are these pieces of our? This is all so this is yeah. So this is just nails and ones. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely something here. Then. Yeah. This is there was a hut here. Yeah. And you got a copper nail too. That's awesome. Here's a oh, you did. You just dropped, dropped one. Dropped a nail. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. yeah. I got another three right here somewhere. He's using That's cool. Too. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a nice board right there. Yeah. Good. That's dropped. Yeah. You know I love doing my bullets when I find them. I love rubbing them and let the white pop out on them. I, yeah. love, I yeah. love doing that to my bullets. Look at the back line. Yeah, it has a cleaner that broke off. But I thought cleaners only had two lines. Two yeah. of them. It's got three. Well, see, they had three different uh, styles of cleaner. That's right. Yeah. That's a cleaner. It's just the back of it fell off. Huh. Sure is. Well, that's... There's a little bit of the front left on it. Right, I managed to put the front back on a little bit, of, one, of huh? course. Well, you ain't. There, there, there's, there's a button back, but you can tell the front. You can tell the front was there because of how clean that is. Yeah. Square nail. Yeah. And you got a three we're ringer. On, we're on something over there. You got you? a drop bullet. Let me see. What you got? It's yeah, drop. Yeah, you got another drop. Beautiful. This one that looks like it was in a fire pit, but it's. Yep. It's enough of it there. Oh, you do have another one. Yeah, you yeah, do. You got two bullets. There you go. So you're on something over here. Well, I've been all over the place. Oh, because you're not just digging one pit out or nothing like that? Yeah, I went, I went all the way around or whatever you guys call that punch. Board yeah. And some things down there. And cool. Came back, but most of all this, I'll see a button. Just, I mean, the bullet just came from there, but the other bullet and the button came from down along that way. Yeah. How deep were the bullets? Hmm, six inches. Okay. So not five, two, five, six inches. And they're coming in probably nice and loud on that nail. Yeah, any, any machine would have found them. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Good luck. I was right on top. It was on around, around a tree. Grew up a, a small right. tree. Right. When the last group was here three years ago, they they found these and just left them up. Yeah. Uh, if it was growing around. I, was say somebody left I guess they didn't want it. Or maybe they set it aside to get later and then they forgot to get it. Well, this, big, this was growing up between three trees. Old? That's nice, though. That's period. Yeah. Awesome. That's definitely period. Awesome. Cool. How deep was this? Like six inches. What did Reed as? Do you remember? Don't really remember, to be honest with you. It was in all the iron. It was chirping all over the place. So it was just mixed in with it? Yeah. That's, that's, what, cool. that's what all the camp lead was too. I was gonna, that's good. That was that's a little fine. See the chain links right, right. there. And, and but what's this? He said there's something in there to let, like to take out chain links if you're trying to wrap. He thinks it's for like logging or something. Oh, that. oh yeah, that would make sense. That would grab onto the log and, and you can pull it out. Oh, oh yeah. Shot show. 1900s. Yeah. Like three of those. That's it's weird. Really cool and weird, yeah. You know. It's not something you find all the time, that's for sure. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm coming. I'm just walking around going the easy way. The best thing we found is a percussion cap. A lot of bricks and charcoal. 
a lot of nails. Brick, nails. You can see the bread. See all the bone, all this white stuff. It's probably chicken and stuff that they were killing and eating. Chicken bones, charcoal, and bricks. It's a fire pit then. Yeah, it's a fire pit. Well, it could be that they came in here and torched all the. Well, they used them over yeah. and over and over. Well, if they could, yeah, they would. Anybody that came look, through here look, a year look, later, he just, he just throws it down. You got something right there. It's a couple inches away. It's small. Whatever it is, it's really small. Or it's a couple inches down. It smells like charcoal. That's red clay right there. Yeah, a little fork. That's pretty cool. There you go. That's really awesome. It's the second, maybe the third one. That's the most, most fork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw another guy had it that it was missing parts of that and parts down here. I certainly had a good time. Met a lot of good people. I have to say, I, I've, I've made friends uh, at this event that I'll have for the rest of my life. All because we shared a day, a love for the hobby, and a good meal. And that's what this hobby is all about. It's about having fun, not creating problems, and stirring up drama. So if you enjoyed it as much as I did, I would love to see you again next one. We're going to be doing this more and often. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.